What's up guys? It's Matt here. We're playing Forza 6 today. I'm gonna put another lap time on the Hot Laps leaderboard. Today I think I'm going to be driving an Audi. Let's see. These are definitely too fast. Um, RS2, Sport Quattro. I think that I'll, I'll go with the RS2 Avant. This thing's pretty cool. Um, again, driving it as true to real life as possible so we've got to go down here and change the shifting to manual with clutch I'll be using my G920 racing wheel and the driving force shifter pedals with the clutch um, yeah everything else is is pretty much as close to real life as possible I do have the suggested line on there uh, we're racing at Hockenheim ring raced uh, four other cars previously uh, here are the lap times for those cars. So we'll see where this falls on the leaderboard. I kept this car in Nagaro blue because that is the most iconic Audi color there ever was and there ever will be. So this thing's gorgeous. Let me uh, let me put you in this third person view so you can see it. It's got that sweet 90s tail light bar in the back. Can't say that I think it's that good looking, but this car is pretty cool nonetheless. Sounds really good. Inline five cylinder turbocharged engine. Pretty cool. Uh, take a look at the front of the car and it looks very similar to the B5 RS4, the B5 S4. Same type of bumper. You see the wrap around. Uh, turn signals but you know it was the 90s can't blame them so yeah this car was produced in 90, 94 to 95 I believe uh, it was a very limited production it was actually co-developed between Audi and Porsche and if you check my Instagram lately you see that I actually spotted one of these cars out in the wild here in, in the US which is kind of unusual because they weren't exported to the US so I'm wondering if that was just an S2 uh, that was rebadged but nonetheless is a pretty cool spotting um, speaking of Instagram go over to my Instagram follow me on Instagram you'll see extra content sneak peeks and uh, yeah cars feels pretty good feels very similar to the B5 S4 so I think that um, I should be able to set some pretty clean laps uh, I've got some experience with the B5 RS4, again in previous episodes of Hot Laps. Uh, so, yeah, as we're coming around these last few turns, I'm just trying to get a feel of this car and come around that last few turns really smooth to carry some speed in the first timed lap. Um, and hopefully we can set a respectable time. If this thing beats any of the cars that I've already raced, I call that a win because this car was built in 94 all the other cars are newer so uh, I don't know let's let's see how it goes coming down this first into this first turn 75 miles an hour around there pretty smooth I'll take that turn the inline 5 turbo just sounds nasty I, I love it down to second through here at this turn. Getting the apex right on that inside berm. Up to third. And the fourth. I'm not sure if we're going to hit fifth gear with this car's gearing. I think this first lap I'll let it run out in fourth. Yeah, so... so at least up, oh, kind of locked him up there. Not the best turn, but I think I saved. I think I saved him a, little, a little bit at the end. So third gear, and fourth, fourth right, gonna be kind of in that turn. We're going full throttle through that turn down to third, and then into second. Try to just clip the inside berm there. I think what this car has on some of the other cars that I've driven is it's got really good low-end acceleration not if you if you 
notice it's not the fastest car down the straightaways, but it pulls out of these corners really, really well. We're coming into this little sweeping hairpin turn into the chicane, the second gear. Getting up on the berm a little bit there. Come down to second, coming pretty smooth. I'm I'll take that. I'll take that turn. A little bit wide coming through that last turn. We're using all the racetrack, so hopefully carry some speed. We got 20727. Pretty respectable time if you ask me. Getting through this first turn very easily. I've noticed that this car is very easy to drive. I feel like this, the first lap and up until this point, I've pretty much hit all the marks on the turns, gotten a really good racing line, hit the apex on most most turns, uh, and just really clean laps in general. So, fourth gear, we're 120. 125. I think I may have to shift to fifth. Yep, and pretty bad shift there. Much better on the entry of this hairpin though. Hitting the apex and the inside berm a little bit, kind of the same same point there. Third into fourth, and then around this guy completely flat out, which doesn't seem very sketchy in this car. It seems this car seemed very planted at high speeds. So coming down the back straight, and I've mentioned in previous videos that I have trouble with this next turn and getting the the back end a little bit loose. This car doesn't seem to have that problem. Seems like a very, very balanced car coming into the turns, through the turns, and pulling out of the turns. A little bit wide there, carrying some speed around. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying driving this car, and if I ever had a chance to drive one in real life, I would jump on that opportunity. So anyone out there, out in Europe, that has the opportunity to drive one of these cars, buy one of these cars, I based on this and granted this is a video game I would try to try to buy one try to drive one they're pretty cool the interior is kind of cool too you got that big plate of carbon fiber over the passenger side that's kind of cool and then I think these buttons on the interior they're all lined up they look very 80s, 90s style, but it kind of reminds me of a, a race car where you've got different toggle switches all lined up. It's more for function over form, so kind of a cool feel. It's definitely got the 90s vibe going with the three vertical air vents. All right, getting down. That was a that actually worked out very well. Down the first and the second. Maybe lost some speed, scrub some speed off at the end of that turn there. Get into fourth gear and round this guy full out again. Down to third and then second. Clip that berm. But yeah, this thing's pretty cool. Getting a little bit loose there, but nothing that we can't handle, especially in this car. Come down to second. Try to keep it nice and tight through here. Into the chicane, hit that berm. Coming around, slowing down into second. Really trying to keep a tight line in through here. This. This line is much nicer than the previous. So we got 204, 205, 206, 207, 207, 101. I don't know if that was my second lap or my third lap, 
but that puts us in front of both the Golf R's, which says something about this car, also says something about the Golf R's, and I'm seeing a trend here with the three Audis on top and the two Volkswagens on the bottom. So I hope you guys liked that video. It was super fun to drive this car. If you like more content like that, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I put out videos like this. I also do real life DIY videos on Audis and Volkswagens. Go check out my other social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I post extra content on that as you saw. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I hope to see you next time.